Despite the rise in downtown foot traffic after the pandemic, restaurants and businesses continue to struggle. There's also concerns about the number of people who call the city sidewalks home. WDRB's Conroy Deluge discussed downtown issues with the top two candidates trying to become Louisville's next mayor. Whether you're attending a concert, basketball game, grapes on this side, bourbon tour, or want to just visit the birthplace of the hot brown. All of that can be found in downtown Louisville. It's the heart of our city. For the district to grow, both Democrat Craig Greenberg and Republican Bill Deeriff say the area needs to feel safer. They each support hiring more LMPD officers to work toward that goal, but say it will take much more than that. Downtown has two problems. You have, you have the perception of safety and the reality of safety. So we have to make sure that changes. We need to make sure that the streets are clean, graffiti is removed, abandoned cars are removed from the street in a matter of days, not months. Events and conventions have made a post-pandemic comeback, but candidates say day to day, downtown still needs to work on bringing locals back. Greenberg wants to re-envision how to use some space. We must work to take these extra surface parking lots that we have and turn them into mixed income, mixed use projects that have commercial activity. Deerf says he's talking to state lawmakers about potential office space incentives for local companies. I'd rather help the people here grow first and then attract people to come here because I can grow your business here because you're already here faster than I can anything else. As for the office buildings, according to commercial real estate company JLL, the central business district has a vacancy rate of more than 18%. If you take your offices and change into where people are living in the tower, working in it, and it just so happens that on one of the floors that their business is there, so if they have to go to meetings, uh, they're, they're there, live, work, play. We need to look at the vacant office space and see if we either recruit new tenants or if we have residential people that move in. Both also express a concern for the city's most vulnerable. Despite initiatives and millions of dollars pushed by the Fisher administration, there are still many sleeping on city streets or in tents under overpasses that lead into downtown. Deerf says programs in Jefferson Town, where he's currently mayor, have produced results, such as the Angel program that can help those struggling with drug addiction get placed into a treatment facility. We have to help them get off the street to get to a life where they have a home, they have a job, and they understand how to deal with society. Greenberg and Deer both say it's important to not just find those without homes somewhere to live. More mental health services with addiction treatment service for for those individuals in need. We need to help them get driver's licenses and ID cards, get signed up for Medicaid so that they have accesses to the services that they need to have a new path on life. And of course, there's still the need for more transitional and affordable housing. The city is thousands of units and billions of dollars short. With photojournalist Tom Round, Conroy Deluche, WDRB News. And WDRB News is your source on Election Day. We are just five days away. We will have interviews, candidate speeches, and results from all the big races on both sides of the river. And we'll have all-day coverage on air on WDRB.com and on the WDRB Now app. Election Day is Tuesday, November 8th.